David in Montreal, Canada writes, do various apps, servers, operating systems affect the capabilities of the DAC that they would transmit the data music to? I.e., oh, mConnect, Rune, Manic Moose for Bryston. Manic Moose? Seriously? Uh, Canadians, you know, what are we going to do? And, and all others. I could have guessed yes based on the various costs of each one. Uh, I would all hate to not get the best out of our PS Direct Stream DAC, so if you would please enlighten us. Well, that's a bit of a tangled question, and here's why. <laughs> I'm not sure about Manic Moose. <laughs> First time I ever heard that. But anyway, uh, let's take Rune as an example. So Rune sounds different than Otervana. So in one sense, yes, whatever it is they are doing to serve that music up seems to sound a bit different. Technically, if there's no DSP, digital signal processing, going on, if there's no EQ, if there's no upsampling, which they shouldn't do, and if the program, like Rune or Autorvana or Manic Moose, uh, completely bypasses the audio engine inside of your computer, which they should, I mean, that's one of the only reasons you get the thing, is that you don't have to run it through the, the Windows or the Mac audio engine, which is, uh, you don't want that. You don't want anything to do with that. Then theoretically, they should sound the same, but they do not. I don't know why. It makes me suspicious. I, I'm also suspicious of Cobuzz, which I think, sound, which, which is a streaming service, sounds better than Tidal, which is also a streaming service. And theoretically, according to their literature, they are both serving up untouched digital files. I think they use FLAC, but that's that free lossless audio codec is lossless and it should sound the same, but none of it does. It's minor, but still it does seem to affect it a little bit. So there's your quick answer. A little bit longer of an answer might be that you want to make sure none of the processing is turned on. Rune has a bazillion options for EQ, for filtering, for doing, you know, and, and making sure that the format is not up or down sampled. And those things, you want to make sure that you check those are selected, turned off, and you're just getting the pure signal. Because theoretically, if you have a file, whether it's on a server somewhere or on your hard drive, that file, that number of bits are identical. They're th if, it's, if it's a perfect copy, which is pretty hard not to do today, so it's easy to get perfect copies, doesn't matter where they live, and it doesn't matter how it's transmitted. As long as you have a device, like for example, here's a, a device, here's, it's still in, you know, being worked on, but this is an air lens from PS Audio. Okay, well, yeah, no kidding. Okay, and that air lens takes the digital signal from wherever you send it, from your computer, from a server somewhere, and it makes sure that none of the noise, none of the jitter, any of that stuff that could be associated with it gets through, only the pure data. And if that data is identical, then how it got there really doesn't matter. And therefore, we shouldn't hear any difference, whether it comes from Rune or from Magic Moose or whatever, but we do. And I can't say that I fully understand why. So, hope that helps. Thanks.